Welcome back. It is day 13. We have like eight days left to see where keto takes us. I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. We're going to weigh in Thursday morning. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So again, one more full day of keto before I weigh myself. So every seven days is when I do weigh myself. Um, this morning I woke up sick with sinus crap again. Um, I did test my blood ketones because I was curious if that had anything to do with it. At 6.47 it was 1.8 and then I got around and did some stuff later and before I ate I actually checked it again at 9 o'clock and it was 2.0. So we're good on ketones, everything's fine there. I did have my keto coffee. I had three eggs and two pieces of bacon. I realized I messed up yesterday. I had three eggs, not two eggs, and I believe I said two eggs. Anyhow, um, about, I'm not sure what time it was, but I had a snack before I had uh, lunch, and I had two of those no-bake cookies that I made the other day. Um, the macros are good on them, and it was filling, and that's all I really wanted to eat. I didn't want to eat a big meal. So a little well, a little time after, I took that leftover chicken like uh, that I cooked last night for myself, had four ounces of that, and then two cheese sticks and the new Bang Bankster Berry or whatever it's called. Someone gave it to me at, uh, when I went and visited them yesterday. So it was really good. I actually really liked that one. We went to the, uh, the store and I picked up some new cheeses. Just trying out some new things, um, those little baby bell, they're a little high, it's like 547 for a bag of them, and then uh, the little Gouda thing I did, and the white, like the cheddar, um, they were like 250 so those are a bit more affordable in the cheese world, that is. I just eat a lot of cheese, and I you know, just try different things all the time to see what I like the best, and it kind of just keeps it fresh. I don't get tired of cheese, I'm a cheese guy. But um, I did have a snack before dinner, and I tried one of the smoked goudas, which tasted amazing. And then I tried one of the baby, the baby bell uh, white cheddar, and that one was really good. So I believe all the cheeses I picked up today were definitely something I'm going to continue to eat and may buy in the future. Um, for dinner, we had keto tacos, and as you see, I used romaine hearts or romaine leaves to use as taco shells. I actually created a recipe. I had exactly 11 and a half ounces of uh, beef. And then I took a picture of one of like the seasoning packages I have, this exact same one that comes with a little kit. And I just basically based it on an eight servings out of the 11 and a half, half ounces. And I came up with three servings is about 4.4 ounces and that's what I put. I divided that in between my two tacos, put cheese on there, put sauce on there, and Tabasco sauce. I never count the Tabasco sauce on my fitness pal because it, it, there's nothing in it. You can put as much as you want on it. So I didn't really ever count that. That was pretty tasty. I haven't had that in a while and it was really good. So if you're craving tacos, maybe that'll help you. You just gotta remember those seasonings have a lot of carbs in them. That's the problem. Um, and uh, at the end of the night, I was still a little bit hungry, so I went ahead and made myself a fat drink. Uh, so a hot chocolate, keto hot chocolate. I did use the, I used six to eight ounces of hot water. I did a scoop of the keto feed, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Maybe a little bit more than that, but I never, I eyeball that every every single time, so I never know how much I actually use. Um, for our macros, our protein was at 126 grams, our carbs were 27 grams, and our fat was 214 grams. Uh, those percentages come out to be 4% uh, carbs, 76% fat, and 20% protein. With my calories ending at 200 and or actually 2,534. So again, I didn't do much today because I didn't feel well. Um, so I should have kept it around 2,000 or under. It's fine, I'm feeling better. Hopefully I can use the uh, protein and all the stuff I put in my body today, tomorrow morning when I go to the gym. I'll just work out extra hard since I missed today. So hopefully that will help me somehow and I'll just, I'll try to watch how many calories I get. Again, you don't really have to watch it. I just, I'm trying to see how much weight I can lose in 21 days just to show you what someone that doesn't have a ton of weight to lose, loses. So just you kind of need to understand that because you know we may weigh in uh, Thursday morning and I've only lost one pound opposed to the 11 I lost the, the week before. So I just want you to see that weight fluctuation and there's no reason to check your weight every single day. Um, I'm gonna jump off of this video real quick and hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more interesting and have some more to talk about. But uh, as far as our ketones, as far as the diet's going, everything's good. I feel fine, I feel light. Uh, my clothes are fitting a little bit. Uh, looser, which is a good thing because I definitely needed that to happen. But um, we'll talk tomorrow. 
Until then, keep it keto.